word this week is compelled, and it comes to us from 2 Corinthians, a verse you'll read this week. And it really talks about how that now we have come to know who Jesus is. He has saved us. He's brought us into a new life with him and into a future in heaven. But the second point to what Jesus does for us and in us is that he now wants to use us to make a difference in the world around us. He wants more people to know his grace. He wants the kingdom to come into their lives, into the lives of the people we know and love. In my dictionary on my computer, it tells me that the word compelled means three things. It usually implies three things. The exercise of great authority, the uh, use of great effort, or the impossibility of doing something else. The authority for our compelling is Jesus. He's the one. He has the authority in our lives to ask us to do this. And he calls us to bring the kingdom to the people of our lives. The exertion of great effort, this wasn't easy for Jesus. It's not easy to love the world around us. It wasn't easy for him. It won't be easy for us. And the impossibility of doing anything else is that now that we have received, now that we know, now that we have so much in Jesus, it's impossible to not want other people to know that. This week, as you uh, think about and read through the scriptures in, connected to this email, I want you to think about what God is compelling us to do in the lives of the people around us. Mm-hmm.